The maestro of Anokirang stands tall and handsome and now he is getting ready to roll in. His good name is Dr. Krishan Chabra. He is simply amazing as each of his presentations touches the heart. Today, Dr. Chabra says A S K. Ask. Let's ask him to take it away. Hello, I'm Dr. Krishan Chabra and welcome to Anokhe Rang. Today's topic is just ask. You may be in for a surprise. I know some of you may be wondering what is this topic all about? Well, let me talk about three different situations. The first one, which is very common, is when you are in doubt about something. For example, you are in a store and you see variations of the same item that you want to buy, but you are not sure of the difference. So, you ask the sales associate and get the clarification before you buy the item. The second situation is somewhat rare in the sense that you do not really need any clarification, but you think that there is no use of asking since you believe that the answer is going to be no, so why bother? Well, let me give you a personal example. After completing my master's degree, I had finished all the coursework for my doctoral program except for the doctoral dissertation, which needs a lot of time to get it done. And with a full time job and a family, it was quite difficult to find chunks of time to complete the dissertation. Working with my advisor, I had picked a topic for my dissertation. And with some creative thinking, I was able to show that it can be applied to solve problems that will be beneficial to the agency I was supporting at that time. I thought that it would be nice if my client could see it that way and maybe provide me some financial assistance so that I can complete my dissertation. Well, it was a very big maybe in my mind considering what it will take to convince the client and all the hoops needed to make it work. Then I thought, well, it is a very long shot. But if I do not try, the answer is a no anyway. So, I mustered some courage, went ahead and met with a person high up in the chain and explained to him how my dissertation topic would be beneficial to the agency. He asked me point blank, why did you come to me? I said, sir, honestly I thought, let me ask you. The most you will say is no. And if I do not ask you, the answer is a no anyway. But if you say yes, then it will be a win-win situation. I will get the financial assistance to work on my dissertation and your agency will get the benefit of using the developed algorithm. He looked at me as if I was from a different planet. But then he started to ask me different questions about my topic, about my advisor and about my plan. I was amazed to find out how much he knew about the research in that area. To make the long story short, the agency gave a grant to my university. I took leave of absence from my employer, went back to the university, worked full time on my topic and completed my dissertation in about 8 months. Net result, a win-win situation with a big payoff for the agency and of course for me. Now, had I not asked, I may have been an A, B, D, all but dissertation. But now, I have a doctor of science degree. I think you get the picture. There can be a huge difference between the status quo and something remarkably positive and different only if you are willing to try. Take the time and the effort and just ask. Remember, the key here is a win-win situation. It is a give and take and it should not take advantage of the other party or abuse the system. Now, the third situation is a day-to-day -day common situation where you are neither in doubt nor you see the need to ask anything. Yet, you should ask or say something. Why? Well, here is an example. The other day, I went to the front desk to check into a hotel. The lady at the desk was very busy and looked overworked, trying to answer the phone, work on the computer and attend to the guests. I gave her my name and she started to look me up in the computer. And then, just like that, I said, you know, whenever I see sometimes someone like you trying to juggle so many things, all I can think of is, what did mother octopus say to the baby octopus? Without looking up, the lady said, what? I said, give me a break. All I have is eight hands. She immediately looked up, began to laugh and said, that is so funny. 
you just made my day. She finished the check-in process and said to me, here is your room key. And by the way, I was able to upgrade your room. I said, wow, that's very nice of you. Thank you very much. She smiled and said, you're quite welcome. What happened here? Just like that, I said something. It uplifted her spirit and I got an unexpected surprise, a win-win situation. What I'm trying to say is that in a normal day-to-day -day routine situation, just ask or just say something nice. It may brighten someone's day and you will feel good too. I am sure that some of you can relate to similar experiences in various situations such as dealing with a customer service associate in a restaurant, in a supermarket, in an airline counter, a hotel reservation, a car rental, in a theme park, in a workplace, in a public place, and the list just goes on and on. And finally, here's what I would like to say. Whenever you are in doubt, you do generally ask. Even if there's no doubt, why not still just ask? It is the right thing to do. Be polite and be nice. It may make someone smile and you may be in for a surprise. It will make you feel good and the other person will feel good too. And it will end up to be a win-win situation no matter when, where or who. Make the most of every little situation and of each and every day. It's a wonderful life. Live it well and make it better in each and every way. I would like to wish all of you a very, very happy Thanksgiving. And please join me again on the first Sunday of next month for another segment of Anokhe Rang. Namaskar.